Did you know that Canva has a fantastic AI image generator that you can use? Even if you're using a free account, best of all, you can use it to make consistent characters. Let me walk you through it right now. Before we get started, I wanted to show you that, yes, you can use Canva's AI art generator, even if you are on a free plan. To learn even more about Canva's AI art tools, I encourage you to come to this page and read all about them to find out more about the possibilities these tools might offer you. The key to success in making the best AI art possible is all about the prompt. So let's start by heading over to ChatGPT. Once you're logged in, let's start creating a prompt. For my story, I have a clear idea what kind of images I need. I want to describe what my character is doing, but also what my character looks like. And to create a consistent character for my story, one that looks pretty much the same from page to page, that is the prompt's main job. The more detailed you are, the better. I will share a prompt setup I use that gives me great consistent character results in Canva. I'll put this in the video's description for you too, to use as a model to work from. Make sure that you include these details in your prompt, but also keep it as concise as possible due to Canva's character limitations. Here's what it gave me. As you can see, it has the person's name, gender, age, hair color, facial expression, what they're wearing, top, bottom, shoes, what they're doing, where they're at, a style and a seed number. Here she's playing hopscotch. Here, she's reading a book, but the seed number is the same in each. For the third one, she's feeding birds at the playground. So, ChatGPT gave us three different prompts based on my request. Now it's time to go to Canva and make some images. I'm in Canva. I'll go to YouTube thumbnail and open a new page. Then I'll add a few more pages. Next, I'm going to scroll down this left panel until I find Magic Media. Click on that. Now that I'm in Magic Media, I want to show you around. You have several styles to choose from. You can also choose what size page you want. I want landscape. So I'll go back to ChatGPT and get one of my prompts. I'll grab this one and put it right there. I'm going to look at styles and I think I will go with playful. You don't have to add a style, but as an experiment, I'll try it this time. Then click Generate. Here are my four options. I'm just going to add these in a page for now. If you don't get them while they're here, whenever you regenerate your next image, you will completely lose them all, so keep that in mind. For now, I'll keep all of them just in case. You can see already, they're pretty consistent, right? So, let's do two more. I'll go grab the second prompt, come back here, and clear that. I'll put my prompt there, click on Generate. They still look pretty similar. Time for the third prompt. Click Generate. Overall, some of them are really good, some need a little work. They're not 100% consistent, but I could always edit them using Canva's other magic tools if I needed to. Or I could make some more. And once you're done, it's time to download your images. So, go to File, go to Download, and choose either PNG or JPEG. Choose your image size and quality, choose all your pages so that you get all of these. Then click Download. Now it's downloading the files to my computer. Now, I'm ready to use them in my next book, 
video, etc. And now you know the basic process. So come back, experiment, and make a few consistent characters of your own in ChatGPT and Canva. Have fun innovators! If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.